Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and welcome to Absconded, the new minigame by DesiTM. Thing you need to do in this game is find the exit to abscond as many buildings as fast as you can. So, well, they are now I'm of course already, no, it's not as fast, it just says as you can, as many as you can. Okay, so I need to escape from here. Now, obviously one thing that I could do is slowly kill this zombie instead of dying myself, which would be a, a good way to start the episode. I only start with a wooden pickaxe, and every time I hit the zombie, I'm causing wear on it, which is not ideal. And I hear a blaze. Now, exit rooms have like a red carpet, so that's how you know they're fancy. Some rooms have witches. Some rooms have chests with chicken or other equipment. I need to try and... Now, this, uh, well, angry pig man... Come on, where's my red carpet? Okay. Well, on the plus side, I can open that chest after all now. Hang it. Dang it, that was not how you properly jump on these guys. Okay. So. More chicken. Well, so the point of this is to explore this kind of procedurally generated castle. And uh, each time you exit a castle, it generates a new one. Now, the way it works is that Desi, in all of his wisdom, decided to create a system by which Minecraft would basically draw rooms and then fill them with command blocks. Okay, so this castle looks like it's two stories high. So the exit might be upstairs. I'm going to eat some chicken to try and get my health back. And... I can use the uh, random pieces of wood that they give me to craft new pickaxes or wooden swords. I think I need eight wood in order to craft a wooden sword. Once you can create a wooden axe, that speeds up the wood collection at least, too. But yeah, wooden sword is definitely on my to-do list. Probably shouldn't be hanging out in such an exposed area, but I'm just a fun guy, and, uh, you know, I like taking risks. So, boom, wooden sword. And now we've got... A bit of stone there. Let's go ahead and try and regenerate some more health. Now, I could technically collect string, I think, but there's no way to turn that string into bows. I don't know if there's a lot of other stuff you can make with string in Minecraft these days. So let's see. So every the building's dimensions will vary each time. Ooh, hey, here's a trap door. That'll let me travel upward. Um, let's see. Oh, there's, there's a witch. Uh-oh. Okay, so we don't want to go in the room with the witch. Let's go ahead and take this trapdoor. This trapdoor will let us teleport upward. He uses a lot of cool command block stuff in this. So, for the in the interest of safety, I'm going to put this in the back corner. You can actually see the command block structure over here. There it is. That's what generates everything procedurally. So if I jump on that, okay, now I'm upstairs. Let's go ahead and poke a hole in the window here so we can see better. And I am almost out of pickaxe. Luckily, there's some more wood here. I've been using that pickaxe far too much as a weapon. Now, when I've seen Desi and other people play this on stream, what they've usually done is use pure punchin instead of a pickaxe, which I guess works because you don't, like, burn through your pickaxes quickly. But, you know what? I'm not necessarily that guy. I'm not so cool. Okay, whoops. Boom, new pick. And, of course, I don't have enough to make a wooden axe yet, but that's okay. So, let's go ahead and see what's over here. Oh, you know what? Switch that out up front. That looks like a blaze. And it's possible that that blaze is connected to another room. So we're going to want to keep that in mind when we go look around this way. This room might be connected to here. It is. And there's the exit sign with a zombie and a zombie pigman in it. If I could lure them out one at a time without angering the blaze, that would be ideal. Let's see, there's a watery room over here, too. Okay, let's go ahead and steal this extra trap door so we can use it in the next level. Because you can actually save trap doors between levels. I hear the witch downstairs there. Okay, so there's the blaze. Let's activate him and try and get him into the water. Here, blazy, blazy. No, you don't want to go in the water. Okay, new plan. 
let's try to... Hmm. Okay, now he's directly between us and the zombies and the other stuff. So, we need to get safe passage. Okay. Come on, Blaze. This way. Okay, so there's our pig man and our zombie. Let's go ahead and kind of erect a little wall here to stop the blaze from imminently getting us. He's unlikely to go around the corner without going in the water at this point. So then if I just open this up, I can just bop this fella on the head. Like so. Bop, bop. Okay, now there was that zombie still in there? There he is, now he sees us. As long as that blaze doesn't sneak around the corner here, which I think the water should prevent him from doing very efficiently. Now we just need to go and right-click on that side. Yay, I absconded. Wait. So now it regenerates a new whole, like, uh, building. Okay. So we got... Now, I have no idea... Now, the new building will have totally different dimensions than the other building. And so, one of the first things you usually want to do is try to find an outside exit. So that way you can look up and down and figure out how many stories the building you're in has. Let's go ahead and temporarily lock that up here. Okay, so we are on the third of four stories in this building, and this one's huge. Now, they don't always get bigger as you go. It's kind of, it's random, like, how quickly they uh, change size. Okay, so let's go ahead and, like, I'm just kind of doing this to light it up because it's easier to see with the lights. Huh. Not a lot of mobs so far. Not a lot of chests either. Okay, we'll grab this uh, trap door for later. Am I at the end? Yeah. So this is kind of a room exploration game. Kind of relaxing, you know, compared to normal Minecraft. You don't have to do a lot of thinking. Well, or occasionally you do, though. Like, you occasionally bump into the crazy puzzle type stuff. Not because it's a, intended to be a puzzle, but just you're in a situation that you have to resolve by puzzling means. Dang it. I'm really not doing great in terms of pickaxes, are I? Am I? Let's go ahead and combine what I got so far. Okay, so I, I buy myself two extra charges there. Man, this one's full of empty rooms. Okay, so now I've worked my way around to where I started. Interesting. So it looks like this room opens up into another. Okay, so that's kind of a long room there. And so unless the exit's in this one here... Okay, so I'm going to want to either go upstairs or downstairs from here. Verify that there's no chest in this room. Oh, hey, there's some wood. And spider webs in the ceiling. We'll go ahead and grab the extra wood. Is that enough? Yes, excellent. So now we, we've got enough to actually go up the tech tree and make an axe. Oh no, not really. One more. Technically I can grab those books too if I want. But they, they don't really do anything because you can't get feathers or ink. So you can't actually like make a, what do you call it, a quill for scribing. Okay. Boom, here we go. Faster wood chopping is the solution to all your problems. Cool. So now, I know there's several downstairs here. Or several layers of uh, downstairs. You know what, I should probably... Well, let's hold off on crafting anything else for at the moment. This looks safe to generally descend. 
Okay. Just in case we need to get back up later. Wait, I thought I was in the corner. So what's back here then? Okay, so now that'll take us down to the lowest floor. And it's easier to get back up randomly than it is to get down. Well, I mean, you can always dig another hole in the floor, but the um, the nature of the trap doors where you can jump on them makes it easier to ascend than to descend. How many floors is in this one? This is like maybe a... S is there another floor down here? Okay, wow, this, this is a huge building. Dang it, should not have done that. That's the end of my food. I hear slimes. Natural light. Oh, you know what? Let's grab that since we got natural light here anyway. Sounds like there's a witch and stuff really close by. If I go to poke ahead here, what do we see? Big room, big corner. It almost sounds like the witch is in... Okay, there's another connecting door that goes to here. Sounds like most of those enemies are actually... Up. Oh, no, that witch is right there. See, and she sees me. So, we're going to make a note not to go through there. Another witch. Completely dark room with the trap door. Uh, wither skeleton. Wither skeletons are bad news in this game. And in most games. And he's connected to that room there. So let's see what's over here. So basically a lot of this game is just playing kind of methodically through it. While evading, you know, terrifying monsters. Which is fun. Here's the outside world. Is this the one that had the witch in it? No. Okay, good. Wood room. Huh, and a chest. Hey. Yeah, leather pants. There we go. Now I'm really styling. Unfortunately, you can't get any dyes to color your trousers or anything. That would be cool. Let's get some more light. Okay. Here's a zombie somewhere. Hey, two chests. Wooden sword and more leather pants. Dang it, only leather pants today. I know that, that you can get leather chest plates. I feel like this... Wait, is there an, another chest here? <gasps> Invisible chest with leather boots. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. I'll take it. Okay, so I've gone pretty much full circle through here. There's definitely some witches and stuff, definitely some dangerous things, but on the whole, I'm not sure that this is where I need to be. So, don't necessarily want to use one of my trap doors when I can just jump up through here like so. Let's go ahead and sh clear this floor. Okay, there we have a blaze. Dang it. Running low on materials again. Looks like this Blaze's room might connect to the next room over here. Oh, it's hard to say. This room is big and empty. I 
I hear another witch. We're just kind of trying to get light in, in general. Nothing too crazy in here. Hey, there's the exit. Is there anything else on this floor that I want? Probably not. There we go. And I've spawned directly next to a witch trapped with a blaze. I wonder if I could provoke them into attacking each other somehow. I'm hoping that both of those doors on either side are secure. But let's, uh, we can't assume that for certain. So we got a trap door here. Let's see how big this one is. Okay, here's a corner. Let's make sure that the corner's secure. -ner. Okay. We are on the first floor of two. Good deal. Another trap door here. Okay, the blaze is definitely not trapped. He's gotten he's gotten and moved into that next room there. That means that the witch can get out too. Wait, no, that no, he's just gone outside. Dang it, that means he can pop out upstairs if he wants. So this is a really narrow one. Okay. So let's see. How many Wait, huh? Maybe I don't get this. Okay, so that's that room. Okay. So we have at least one more room going this way. I don't know how long this whole structure is. Any mobs hiding in there? No? Good. Oh, I could make wooden fence doors and stuff too if I wanted, I guess. Don't know why I would. I should probably go through the list of everything wooden you can make in Minecraft and uh, just be sure I'm not missing any good weapons or anything. Probably not. Does the axe... Oh, that's a wither skull. They are really easy to just walk in and hang out with. Whoa, the wooden axe does way more attack damage than the wooden sword. It's just four instead of... or seven instead of four. Okay. Well, so, I'm pretty sure that room isn't going to be the one with the uh, exit then. That's the one with the slime. So, let's go ahead, back in the corner here. Well, we'll steal this one, and we'll move this back in the corner. If we set this up in the corner, then we're going to have a uh, lower likelihood of stuff attacking us when we come out. Although, I could just... Okay, those are two zombie pigments. So we don't want to go in the zombie pig man room, if we can avoid it. It doesn't seem to connect to this room, that's that's a nice thing. Let's grab that light, um, and that one, and this. Okay, let's go ahead and throw our light down here. Why do I only have one light? I thought I grabbed two. Whatever. This one's like trapped in the spider web, it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and switch my axe out with my sword. Now that I know that the axe does so much more damage. And you know, I think the difference is that the axe doesn't... Um... Is there a witch or something in here? Or is that the witch downstairs I'm hearing? The axe does not let you hit multiple enemies at once, but with the wooden sword, you do so little splash damage anyway. Like, there's probably no no real strategic reason not to use it. Okay, so I think that this room might be the one with the skeleton... With the wither skeleton? No. Okay, well then, if that's the case... Well, there's some new boots and a sword... Hmm. Anything else in here I need to worry about? Wait, there's no way I've seen every room in here. I think that's the one with the wither skeleton. Is it? Wait. There must be another floor or something. Shift click. No, that looks like the roof. So how did I miss a room in a building this small? Let's 
go back through. Okay. There's not rooms like over here that I'm missing. Okay. Oh, because there's the zombie pig man room. Oh, and then I didn't check this one. Oh, there it is. Whoa, whoa. So you can spawn into a room that will start you with an enemy if you're not lucky. I'm not lucky. Oh, and I was slain by a wither skeleton. Dang it. <sighs> well, that was a fun little mini game. If you want to check out DesiTM, you can find him on Twitter at twitter.com slash DesiTM. And I'm going to have a link to the Discord where you can uh, download all of his cool mini games that he makes. And apparently that's the uh, code of the Wither Skeleton, just in case I ever need to know that. Didn't know you could hover over those things. Oh. Anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.